Hello everyone. I just finished the last vlog. Oh my gosh, the glare is bad. Um, oh, wow. I really need to clean these screens. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, sorry to start the vlog off that way, but if you have anything that you really like to clean your Kindle or e-reader screens with, please drop that in the comments because clearly I need it. Um, they don't look this smudgy in real life, but through the camera they do. So anyway, um, I just finished the last vlog. So if you have not watched that, I will link it below. And I like to start them off right where I left off on the last one, but in this case, I'm starting it off at night and I have kind of some crappy lighting. So I apologize in advance, but I kind of wanted to update you on what I'm reading. So I have a couple of ARCs on here. I'll actually show you that I have like a little collection for it. This is so cute. This one's called um, Hiding from Hope and it's an ARC that I need to finish. Kobo, you can actually sort things by collection and I have three that I need to finish. Right now I have Hiding from Hope, I have Josephine's Tear, and Built to Last. And again, I don't know why the quality is a little bit grainy on here. I'm sure it'll get better when I film during the day next time I film, but I need to finish these three and I kind of have those sorted on the Kobo. Then over here on the Kindle, I have Gracie Gold's memoir, which I kind of had to take a break from. It was pretty heavy, but I'm really enjoying it. I did actually, funny enough, have one of her performances pop up on my, on my YouTube suggested videos. So I watched that. Let's see how far I am in this book. I am 59% in. So I am hopefully going to just try and finish this one because I really want to read some ARCs and I really want to read Quicksilver by Callie Hart. I just keep seeing it everywhere and I really want to read it. So I'm going to try and make some progress here. If you've read this or you want to read it, let me know. I'm curious. And I'm also curious about all these ARCs as well. I think they should all be out now by the time you're seeing this video, just because it takes a little while, usually two or three weeks before I edit and put things up. So they should be out now. If you are new here, my name is Summer. I talk a lot about e-readers. As you can see, I've got my Kobo Libra Color and my Kindle Paperweight here in front of me. I also do some unboxings and I do reading vlogs. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe and stick around. Okay guys, I have been bouncing around so much on what to read. Also, sorry, I feel like this vlog has just been terrible lighting overall, but I'm trying to figure out what to read. I am in the middle. I was like trying to read Quicksilver by Callie Hart, which I really want to read, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to dive into a fantasy. Then I started just for the summer just to see if I liked it, and I do, but I'm like, am I in the mood for this? I tried to read Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. Wasn't sure if I was in the mood for that, even though it's a library book. What else? The Housemaid is Watching or The Housemaid number three, I can't remember which one that is, but that one has gotten like mixed reviews, so I just can't decide what to read, but I do have some library books that are expiring, but I'm just sort of like, I don't know, I'm kind of done forcing myself to read things, even if like they're about to be due. I kind of just, I prefer mood reading, so I might try and read this on my Kobo and have Quicksilver, because it's on Kindle Unloaded on my Kindle, and try and read two at the same time. I still have ARCs to catch up on that are no longer even ARCs. So I feel kind of bad about that because I feel like I really need to read them, but at this point they're already kind of out. So I need to get back on my ARC game. I'm just having one of those really indecisive moments where I'm just not sure what to read and I want it to be something that I am super into instead of just like reading for the sake of reading it. So I don't know, everyone please comment what you're reading below because I feel like you always give such good suggestions People have told me that I need to read the other ones in this Abby Jimenez series before I read just for the summer, but then other people have told me that I can just read this one and it won't be a big deal, but that if I read the other ones, then I would have more context, but it can kind of go together. You know what's funny is that I also still haven't figured, or figure, I still haven't finished Terms and Conditions, which is the second one in the um, Dreamland Billionaire series, so it's like I just feel like I'm getting a little stuck on some of these books not like I don't know I wouldn't call it a slump it's getting close though so I'm gonna read a little bit of this and see how I feel okay an update I'm gonna save just for the summer and I need to finish terms and conditions this one's on KU I started reading this one a couple of vlogs ago so if you didn't get to see me read that one I'll link the previous vlogs below vlogs below 
Wow, I feel like my brain is scrambled today. So I think I'm like 67 or so percent of the way in on here. If you ever want to know what I'm reading, you can always check Goodreads for kind of more timely updates. 68%. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try. I just feel like I need to accomplish something. You know what I mean? Does that ever happen to you where you're just like, I need to accomplish something before I start something new? So I'm going to finish this. I got in kind of a slump with it. I really like the book, but it's just dragging on a tad. So I'm going to try and finish this and then I will move on to a different book after that. And by the way, this is my Kindle Oasis that they don't sell anymore, but it's kind of similar to the Kobo Libra color. And I just like that they have the page turn buttons. They're my favorite because of that. Okay, so I am 70% of the way into this book and I might DNF it. I don't know if I can handle it. I just had like a part where I read it and I just like visibly like <laughs> or audibly I should say um haven't had all my coffee this morning so I feel like I'm not talking totally like I should but um I yeah. I got the ick I got to this chapter 32 I got to this chapter I won't show anything for spoilers sake but I just got the ick I don't think I want to like I want to know what happens but I just like it I don't feel like I need to spend the next I don't know how long am I supposed to have an hour and a half finishing it I just don't know so I might move on to Quicksilver or something else just because I feel like I said this in a previous vlog but I keep like sticking things out when I'm not sure that I should but everyone keeps telling me that this one is the best one out of the series so I don't know I think I might <laughs> I might just give up on this one and I might I do have, I feel like Frida always gets me out of a slump, so I might do The Housemaid is Watching. I already started that one. Um, Quicksilver, I just, I feel like I really want to read that one. And I also had a couple of suggestions from friends, from Geneva Rose and Christopher Golden for these two. Um, I have Just for the Summer. And then I still have those ARCs. I am so bad at reading those lately. I Maybe I need, I keep saying this, but I, maybe I need to do a full vlog just with ARCs. Like, would anyone be interested in that? Or do you want me to just kind of mix them in with the rest of the books? What do we think? Just ARC vlogs? I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I think I might do Quicksilver or Just for the Summer or uh, one of these. I might move on. Oof, okay. I finished it, guys. I finished it. I was debating on whether it should be a three or four star, so I might change it I don't know this one is the next one is the longest one I think and it's about the brother that's been mentioned like the final brother and he's been mentioned a lot in this book so I don't know I need a little break before I see if I can finish the series but I rated it a three star I really I wish you could do half stars on Goodreads and Amazon like it drives me crazy does it drive anyone else crazy please let me know in the comments because then it's like you either have to round up or down and it's like what if I what if I just need the half star so I'll have to like write a little review once I've had some time to think about it but I did just like whoops <laughs> I did just like power through so I powered through it's a three I might I might change it to a four we'll see so now I think I'm going to this book actually came out today but I think I'm going to actually read it now so I can get my review up for the author so starting built to last and we'll see how far we get i also have just for the summer hanging out over here just ready to be read okay so i was gonna read built to last but i'm thinking i actually need something that's like less of a romance right now after terms and conditions and i feel like frida just never fails i'm wondering whether i should do you shouldn't have come here or housemate is watching and i think because I was like, should I do fantasy? But I need like something quick. And I feel like Frida is always just like a quick read that gets me out of things. So I think I'm going to do The Housemaid is Watching. I know we've like gone, this vlog has been like all over the place. But I think we're going to do that. I'm already 6% in. I think I remember what I read. I'll go back to page 12. Um, oh, I think that was because I was listening to the audiobook. But I think I remember what happened. So I think I'll just start here. And like five hours, that sounds totally doable. Also, I know my office setup is like a little bit cluttered back here, but essentially I wanted to just give you an update on the Ember mug. I just made another cup of coffee. It's like noon, it's my mommy's second cup. Because what's so nice is I feel like my first cup actually lasted for a decent amount of time because 
this is so much better than the first version. Like the first one, it would like get stuck. It wouldn't sense that it was full. It like wouldn't do things right. It was not the best, but this one I absolutely love. I feel like the size is perfect. You can fit an entire cup of coffee. I just feel like this is so great. I usually keep it on this little coaster right here and then it just, it doesn't die at all. And I also had an issue last time with the top of it would get like this weird coating over the top because the heat wouldn't reach the top. This one seems powerful enough or just nicely coated to the point where it doesn't seem like that, that, that is happening. So if you missed the unboxing for this, go check it out. It didn't get very many views, but I enjoyed making the video. So that's what matters. Okay, this was the best decision ever to switch to this because I feel like I'm already getting out of the slump. So again, Frida, thank you for getting me out of the slump. And again, don't stick with, well, maybe do stick with books. I do feel satisfied that I finished the other book, but it was like putting me in a reading slump. So I don't know. I think I'm pro reading books that you really want to read. But again, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have thoughts on this. Like, do you feel productive if you finish it? I, I feel like somebody commented this on one of my other vlogs and they said that like they want to stick it out because they want to see what other people were seeing and they want to see like if it gets better. I feel like with the last book that I read, like with Terms and Conditions, it was just kind of interesting. Like it got to the point where um, I just wasn't sure if I just wasn't feeling that all of the storylines were like gripping me like there were parts that I cared about and there were parts that I didn't care about as much and I think what's weird is this is the one that everyone always tells me is their favorite in the Dreamland Billionaire series but I actually think I like the first one better because it had more to do with Dreamland aka what like it's based on Disneyland so I think that's why I like that one a bit more but if you've read this series I'm really interested to know which one is your favorite. So I'm just checking in on my 2024 reading challenge and I put in 44 as my number because I feel like that's my lucky number is 44 and I feel like that was doable and I feel like I'm doing pretty well. It says I'm like four books ahead of schedule or something, but isn't it so interesting that you can really go back and look at this as a timeline? Like it starts here, obviously, and then I read these all in order and these are my more recent ones. But if you go back and look at your Goodreads challenge, isn't it always interesting to see like oh, this is what was happening in my life while I was reading this. And it just kind of brings you back a little bit. I know it's kind of an obvious statement, but it's just kind of cool to see what was going on in your life and really reflect back through the books that you read. And I know that some of you read way more than I do, and I'm so jealous, and I feel like I'm so inspired to read more because of you. So thank you all. I just wanted to say thank you for inspiring me. And there are so many of you that I want to say that to, but I particularly want to just say thank you so much to... Steph, Kelly, Shannon, um, Luciana, Danielle. Oh my gosh, there are so many more people that I feel like I need to thank. Amanda, Mara, Lo. Thank you guys so much for commenting on all of my videos and just being there. And there are so many more people that I need to thank. So if I forgot you in this little short clip, just know like I see you out there and you you inspire me to read more and I want you to comment below and tell me if you have a Goodreads 2024 reading challenge how are you doing on yours and what was your favorite book so far if you had to pick one book for the entire year so far what is your favorite and I guess that also means I should answer my own question so I think gosh it's so hard to choose if I had to choose one book from the entire year I don't know it might be one dark window I've really loved the Housemaid series. I loved the Seven Year Slip. I loved Bride. I loved Heartless Hunter. I loved Caraval. Oh my gosh, I still need to finish the second book and the third book in the Caraval series, as well as where's the second book of um, Late Lark? I have not read Nightbane yet, but I was kind of waiting for the third one to come out. So I love those. And I also love Funny Stories. So those might be my favorites, but if I had to pick just one, I think it would be One Dark Window. Oh, I also love The Teacher. One Dark Window really has my heart. I'm thinking about rereading it this October and I'm gonna do some fall reading recommendations. So if you have any fall books or like kind of spooky vibes, I'm gonna do that around like end of September into October. So if you have any kind of like gothic or spooky books that you would recommend, let me know for sure. Okay, I'm fully aware that I said I was gonna read The Housemaid, but this book is calling to me. Um, Kai reads on TikTok really 
like hyped it up for me and everyone who has read this one that I've known has said that this is like one of their best reads of 2024 and since I was just talking about that I was like maybe I should just start it so I've got this I also realized I haven't made like a recent reads video like as I was looking through my goodreads thing just now I haven't made a recent reads video in a really long time so maybe I should make one of those because I feel like I vlog these but then I kind of need to process them and I haven't been reading enough books per month to really make an entire video per month of like a wrap-up so let me know if you would like to see that and let me know if you there's like this there's the veiled kingdom there's the ever king i feel like there's like the kindred spark series there are so many romanticy books that i need to read and such little time this one is on kindle unlimited and i know i said i was going to do a kindle unlimited series and that kind of like fell off the face of the earth i am still gonna do it but i can't decide how i'm still questioning the format so if you have any ideas let me know let's see how this goes Ooh. okay we have a map i love that Okay, Kelly Hart. Oh, we have a pronunciation guide. Okay, I think I'm definitely going to need this. I also need to read When the Moon Hatched. Oh my gosh, so many fantasy books. Maybe I should just have like a fantasy month. Like maybe September and October should just be like fantasy. Or October could be thrillers. What do we think? September fantasy and... October thrillers. Okay, so I actually just made a little TikTok where I made a romantic TBR because there have just been so many that people have been recommending. And if I do want to do like a romantic September, I think that would be so much fun. So I wanted to put all of the ones that I could remember off the top of my head in here. So I made a little collection. I'll put my TikTok on the screen if you want to go look at it there, just because sometimes it's easier to post. Like it wasn't a short. So it wasn't under 60 seconds. It was like two minutes long. Here are the ones that I have right now. Quicksilver, The Shattered Kingdom, The King of Frost and Shadows, The Veiled Kingdom, Spark of the Everflame. And you can see a lot of these are on Kindle Unlimited, which is super nice. Heaven Breaker. And then, did I miss any? No, okay. Then we also have Hollow Heathens, Nightbane, which is the sequel to Lightlark, Serpent in the Wings of Night, which I started and like never continued. The Ever King, The North Queen, and of course, When the Moon Hatched, I started that one, but kind of never got anywhere with it either. So I am really going to try and make more collections on my Kindle. The way that you go and you find your collections, let me show you, is you're going to have to go out of here because I'm already in there. So go into your library, and I guess I'm already in my collection, so let me pop out of here. But you can say view all like all of your books will come up and so then this is what you'll see when all of your books are behind this thing or you can choose collections and then I just made a romanticy collection so that's where they all are and then they're easy to find so that way I'm not like looking at the entire cluttered screen and then I'm also going to make one that's like spooky Halloween-y thrillery vibes like kind of gothic vibes and make that for October as well so if you have any suggestions for either romanticy or some October type books or cozy books. They don't have to be creepy or scary or dark or whatever. They could be cozy. We like to add that in between. But I'm just, I don't know, this makes me want to read them 10 times more now that they're organized and I don't have to like go hunting for them while scrolling through everything that I have on my Kindle. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on that, let me know or you can go watch that TikTok. But I'm really excited now. I feel like I'm so crazy all over the place with all of my mood reading right now. So I apologize in advance and right now. But I actually, I totally forgot that I would really like to read Luna. And I need to find my little book light. Here we go. Um, this is my cute little book light because it doesn't have a backlight, obviously. Obviously the lighting is terrible in my apartment. And I, no matter how many lights I turn on, I always joke that I live in like a haunted castle because the lights like flicker it's kind of a vibe but it's also kind of not a vibe when you're trying to film things so i think i might read luna 
since Julian sent this to me. And then we'll get in, because we still have like, right now as I'm filming this, we still have a couple days of August. So if I do this, then move on to my rant, romantic September. Hopefully I won't like burn myself out, but we'll see. And then thriller October. I feel like this could be good. It's so funny. It actually makes it look way darker in here than it actually is. But here's my cute little book light. And let me get cozy. I might actually make a cup of tea while I read this because it's like 8 p.m. The sun is already going down, guys. It's gonna be, I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I need, I'm gonna need something to keep me occupied when the sun starts going down earlier and earlier because then it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of cozy. But you really have to make it a vibe. You can't let it get to you. super dark in here and this light like looks terrible on camera but I just read a few pages of Luna and I tabbed and highlighted some things I did like the light blue for things having to do with footprints because this book has to do with like this rabbit named Luna um, she loses her footprints and it's like this is a really profound book like you can tell that like the reader will take from it what they need and I'm really interested to see what Julianne's inspiration was. I don't know if we'll find out, but, um, and then I tagged this dark blue color is like kind of like this life level lesson thing, like something to reflect on. So it'll be really interesting to go back and kind of look at what I tabbed and then I'll also make a key too for myself so that when I reread it someday, I'll have that and I can look at what I, um, that was interesting upon this first read I think that's so cool and it's I haven't annotated a book in a while but this one I just felt really drawn to it because it just is really deep and I can tell there are a lot of metaphors for the world and mental health and just finding one's place in the world so I'm really enjoying this so far it's a pretty quick read I just read 32 pages in like not that long I wasn't timing it but it felt like nothing and let's see how far in I am yeah, that's how far in right there so pretty far in just not a lot of time but it was really relaxing and it did make me ponder some things it's the next day i had the craziest day and i didn't have time to read it all but i've been thinking about this book all day and i feel like that's how it should be it shouldn't be like oh i have to finish this book but anyway now that we have slightly better lighting than last night <laughs> because i turned on the overhead light but there's still some weird shadows sorry about that I just want to show you and tomorrow during the daylight I'll show you a little bit better but the illustration on here is really gorgeous too like I love all the little pictures and things that really contribute and I've been loving the tabbing the highlighting I have so many more tabs and highlighters but I just thought this one went really nicely with the colors of the book and I think I'm actually 25% of the way through. I updated this on my Goodreads and I couldn't believe that I was already 25%. I mean, you can kind of see it, but it's just interesting when you see the actual percentage. I don't think that Julianne has this for Kindle on Amazon. And I think that I understand the reason why. This is just an experience. Like, you need to have this physically. This book is just something you need to have and hold in your hand. It's magic. So I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to see where this goes. I might just like read this all in one sitting and let you know how it goes. Okay, so last night I went to bed with full intent of reading this for a while and then I just completely fell asleep. So give this video a thumbs up if you've ever done that where you've just like, you're like, I'm gonna read for a while and then before you know it, your eyes are closed and it just didn't happen. And today I woke up and this morning I just felt like it was an energy drink day, not a coffee day. I mean, coffee sounds delicious, but I just needed caffeine immediately instead of having to like wait. I don't know. I just needed to wake up. So energy drink today. I'm waiting for the witch's brew from Alani. Like this is the Alani new cherry slush, which is probably one of my favorite flavors of these, but the witch's brew flavor comes out in the fall and I hoard that flavor like no one's business. Tropical and cherry slush are probably my favorite. Alani, if you're watching this, please sponsor. Would not be mad. Just kidding. Well, who knows? 
So anyway, I have been looking and waiting at like Target and Walmart waiting for the Witch's Brew flavor. I've seen it on TikTok, but I'm not going to pay like $50 for like six of them. So we're going to, we're going to wait. And this one's really good in the meantime. So I do want to read this. I don't need my reading light right now, but I wanted to show you some other annotation supplies that I have. These are like erasable pens. I'll link all of this below and I'll link this book as well. But these are really cool pens and I love them for annotating because you can actually erase if you don't like it. Because it's hard to like write in a book. Like it's hard to commit to what you're annotating. But if you can erase it, I feel like it feels better. Then I've got the book light. I'm just going to put it over there. I have so many different annotation tab colors. It took me a while to go through this and see what color I wanted to use. But I just feel like the light blue, the blues went well. And then here are my other pens. And then I like to choose ones to match. So anyway, I'll link all this down below. is gonna be a coffee day today coffee and energy drink like that's where we're at it's 4 p.m and i'm crashing so i am going to make a little coffee and i'm trying to decide what flavor to make i'd have the colombia i have the el salvador i think that's what that one is the writing on these is so pretty and then i also have this little tropical coconut one that i don't think they make anymore forest variations um, I really wanted to maybe get the pumpkin spice one, but I decided to get pumpkin spice creamer instead because do I really need to be buying more coffee pods? No, I don't. So we'll just make regular coffee and then have the pumpkin spice creamer. Part of me is thinking about doing a latte with um, an espresso instead, but that might be crazy. I kind of just like want to peacefully sip on a coffee. I might make this one. I haven't had this one in a really long time. This one's like... This one's called Malazio. This one I actually got as a sample in my last pack. And I'm going to try it again to see if I like it. And I will put the cinnamon in the bottom. Some of you guys have commented that I keep putting the cinnamon on top. And it's like just sitting on the top. And then you guys are like, no, it needs to mix in. So I'll do the cinnamon first. Don't worry. And it won't be like sitting all over the top. totally just let it run out of water and it made this horrible sound so now it's like revving back up again now that I refilled the tank back there oh my god it makes a horrible sound anyway this is the pumpkin spice creamer I usually get this kind but this one's just the pumpkin spice limited edition okay so I just finished Luna and as you can see I tabbed quite a few things while I was reading with my matching highlighter here and by the way, I like to use these highlighters. They're like book slash Bible highlighters because if you use a regular one, I was talking to my friend about this last night, actually. Um, if you use a regular one, then it kind of like bleeds through the pages. But these ones, let's see if I can find one. Um, I don't mind my like really not neat highlighting, but um, they don't bleed through is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, thoughts on this book. I am going to rate it. I haven't like finished it on Goodreads officially, but I'm going to do that right after this. I'm going to give it five stars. Julianne, I love this. This was like a very, like, I think I will read it multiple times and I might highlight in a different color every time I read it because it kind of reminded me of The Alchemist in a way that it was like the story about um, this rabbit named Luna. And I also love the illustrations. There were some little poems in here by... Um, Rumi and T.S. Eliot, which I loved, like kind of including that too, because they added to the story and the perspective. But Luna, 
um, I think I read this back in the, on one of the past vlogs, but um, Luna loses her footprints and has to figure out what's going on with her and like every page had some kind of like deep revelation on it where I was like oh my gosh this is making me think about my own life and like just existential things and like meaning in everyday things and all just interactions with people so this was really quite the book it's not that long it didn't take me that long to read theoretically like it did take me a few days because I read it over a few days but it didn't take me that long just in general, but I wanted to just kind of soak it up and experience it. I think I said that in a different clip as well. So Julianne, thank you so much for sending me this book. I'm gonna link it below and I highly recommend it. I will definitely be honored to have this on my shelf. And again, I might read it again in the future with different things because I'm sure I'll be going through different things in life and it's always fascinating to find yourself in books because that's what books are for, right? To make us think about ourselves and life and to entertain us and to just absorb and experience all of the emotions possible so this was lovely and it did make me like really sad at parts <laughs> i was like oh my gosh where is this gonna go and i don't want to spoil anything but it was quite interesting how she wrapped it up so anyway that's that and i think since it is actually the last day of august this is perfect because i'm going to start my romanticy september so i'm gonna call it romanticy month and let me grab my Kindle. And for my romanticy month, I think I'm going to start with Quicksilver by Callie Hart. I really wish the audiobook for this was out, but it's not yet, but it is what it is. Everyone just keeps telling me this is so good. And I really want to read this and Veiled Kingdom, but the Veiled Kingdom um, sequel just came out and people are not loving it. So I'm kind of a little bit nervous about that, but we'll see. So I'm going to start with Quicksilver. And if you want to join me for a, for Romanticy Month, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do little shorts and TikToks and things like that. So follow me over on my other social medias. I will put them on the screen so you can follow me for like little updates or follow me on Goodreads to see like more real-time updates. And I'm going to make some vlogs with all of these. And then on during October, I'm going to do some thrillers. Now, am I going to stick only to those genres during this month? No, probably not, because you guys know that I'm such a mood reader and like I really can't stick to things <laughs> very well. Um, meaning like I just start to feel trapped when I like own if I'm only gonna do this or whatever. So I need to have the freedom to mood read a little bit, but I'm excited to start Quicksilver. And I actually also just got a notification. Speaking of romanticy, I think I have a PR box in my mail room from entangled publishing which is like the imprint that um comes from red tower books like fourth wing and iron flame and a bunch of other amazing books are published under so if that's the case i because i got on their pr list a little while ago but i was like i don't know if they're gonna send me anything i'm not the biggest creator ever but i saw like a preview of the image and i am really excited so i'm gonna go get that and i'm gonna start that in the next vlog so if you want to see me open that pr box please make sure you're subscribed because i will put that in my next vlog so i'll see you guys later let me know if you've read this let me know if you're gonna add luna to your tbr i hope you all enjoyed this vlog subscribe for more and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye guys as always leave a like and tell me what you're reading below